So it's altruism within the group and enmity outside of the group. Now these arguments were very well known throughout the 19th century, Charles Darwin, uh, Herbert Spencer, all the uh, 19th century evolutionists. And again, it's like, uh, well, basically like the brain science and IQ uh, literature that I've spoken about on other occasions. All scientists knew this right up until the 1930s. Most scientists knew this up until the 1930s, or at least until the turn of the century. Today, and this is probably the only time in science that I know of, in which things in a democracy, in which things have, that were once, quote, known to the scientific community, have been made to disappear from that same scientific community. It is not the case, ladies and gentlemen, that scientists know the truth, but don't want to tell you. The fact of the matter is that the vast majority of scientists don't know the truth. And they don't know the truth because when they were trained any time in the last 20 to 30 years, the introductory psychology or introductory textbooks that they read told them, uh, told them untruths. And every professor in every course that they had all the way through their PhDs told them untruths. And so it's not the case that all my colleagues really know the truth but don't want to tell you. The fact of the matter is that if you took a survey of most of my colleagues, they would say that I, I was clear that I was mistaken, and people, uh, Professor Whitney and uh, other people who've spoken here. Uh, you have to judge for yourself what the empirical evidence shows.